So a few weeks ago, I made a video about the GTX 1070 and the RTX 3070, and I wanted to answer the question, can you just put a new GPU into an old PC with an old CPU, like an i5 4690K? And I thought the results were pretty interesting. I only tested in 1080p, so I found that uh, there was quite a bit of bottlenecking, especially with the later games. Now, a few people asked me to also test it in other resolutions, so that's what I've done in this video. I've tested the RTX 3070 in those same games at 1440p and 4K, so we can get a better picture of what happens with the RTX 3070 with an old CPU. So today, I want to answer the questions, well, can you play 60 frames a second in those other resolutions if you just put a new GPU with an old CPU? And secondly, because we're testing open world games going all the way back to 2015, I want to ask, well, what's going to happen with open world games going on into the future? And what are your CPU requirements based on what we've seen with these older games? Okay, let's talk about the PC first. My PC is an i5 4690K overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 1833 megahertz RAM, gigabyte gaming RTX 3070, a regular hard drive for four of the games and an SSD for Red Dead Redemption 2 and Cyberpunk 2077. In terms of testing, I did go over the methodology in my previous video and I'll just flick the slide up here, but you can watch my previous video for the explanation. Let's get into the results. So for The Witcher 3, this game showed pretty good results across all three resolutions. It has a high of 132 FPS at 1080p and 75.2 FPS at 4K. It's not as CPU intensive as some newer titles, meaning we can get a higher frame rate at 1080p. The 1% lows are also reasonably high across all three resolutions. The frame times are generally good between 10 to 25 milliseconds. As you can see in the CPU usage chart, there's less CPU usage at 4K, meaning the GPU is being fully utilized, which is what we want, generally speaking. For the division, the CPU seems to be maxed out at 1080p as opposed to similar frame rate to 1440p. The 1% 1 lows are particularly low, but this might be because about half the benchmark was spent indoors and the other half outdoors in a mission called the Amherst Apartment. Inside the apartment, the frame rate was much higher. As you can see, the frame times are pretty good for this game, around 10 to 20 milliseconds. The CPU usage chart shows that the CPU is already being fully utilized, even at 4K, which is a bit of a concern considering the Division came out in early 2016, so the i5-4690K was already starting to become bottlenecked. Ghost Recon Wildlands is next, and this is a game that is completely bottlenecked by the CPU. With a RTX 3070, it won't go over 60 frames a second on Ultra on any resolution. On lower quality, the frame rate does improve, but it shows how much CPU power is needed in open world games. The frame times are particularly bad between 20 to 50 milliseconds, and the CPU usage is as expected, being mostly utilized at all resolutions. Assassin's Creed Odyssey performs well with an RTX 3070 and appears to scale well between resolutions. At 1080p, Assassin's Creed Odyssey gets 73.1 FPS, while at 1440p it's at 65 FPS. Even though the 1% lows are around 45 FPS, I found the experience pretty smooth and playable. The frame time generally shows that it was fairly consistent at around 20 milliseconds. That said, the CPU is fully utilized on all resolutions. Red Dead Redemption 2 performs very similarly to Assassin's Creed Odyssey in terms of results. Overall, the game plays pretty well and I did not really encounter too many performance issues. It's not perfect, 
There are some stutters and frame pacing issues, particularly as the resolution increases, but on an old i5-4690K, I suppose it's passable. The frame time graph shows it's fairly consistent. The CPU usage for the 1080p performance was a bit strange at the start. I tested this twice, but found the issue happened both times. I'm not sure why the CPU usage is much lower at the start for 1080p, though it looks like it does occur for the 1440p resolution as well. Let me know if you encountered the same issue. Finally, Cyberpunk 2077, and as expected, the i5-4690K couldn't really keep up. The 1% lows are really low, and this is usually driving around the city where the frame times just tank. The frame times for 4K are consistently in the 40 to 50 milliseconds. That said, the game is also heavily GPU intensive, so as you can see in 4K, the GPU is more utilized than the CPU. This game needs the latest PC hardware to run well. Overall, as you can see in this summary chart, one of the big issues is the 1% lows as a result of the old CPU. Even at 1080p, the 1% lows are under 60 FPS. And as you saw in the individual frame time charts, a few of the games have frame times between 20 to 50 milliseconds, which greatly impacts performance. Secondly, there's a clear difference in performance between the older games, such as The Witcher 3 and The Division, and the newer games, Ghost Recon Wildlands onwards. These games are far more CPU intensive, which limits the frame rate. As for the two questions that I posed earlier on in this video, can you still play 60 frames per second with a new GPU on an old CPU? And the answer is that I suppose you could turn down the settings a little bit, which would make the frame rate increase and also the 1% lows increase, but you'd still have a frame time issue. And I think the frame times are getting a little bit high on some of those later games, particularly Cyberpunk 2077 and also Ghost Recon Wildlands as well posting really high frame times. So I think the best thing is if you want to get the most out of your GPU, then I think a new PC upgrade would be the way to go. So the second question is what can we expect from open world games going forward and what kind of hardware do we need to run them? Well, I would say that the answer is in two parts. If you have an old CPU like what I just tested an i5-4690K or a Skylake, a 6600K for example, well consider an upgrade because I think if you look at the new RTX 3070 reviews, you're going to get much higher frame rates than what I just tested with this RTX 3070 on an i5-4690K. So you're going to get a pretty big improvement, sometimes 40-50% improvements on those frame rates. So I think uh, that would be the way to go if you want to fully utilize that GPU. And secondly, with this generation of consoles, the consoles have much stronger CPUs inside them. They have 8-core 16-thread. CPUs, so I think that that's going to be the new mid-tier level CPUs and I think these open world games are going to fully utilize them just like we saw with Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, so that's going to be it for this one. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button and also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.